If you think that you know where the end of the solar system is, you're probably wrong. Everything begins with the Sun, which is the center and orchestrator of the movement, followed by the eight planets varying in size with their numerous moons, while beyond this we find Kuiper Belt full of icy bodies and dwarf planets such as Pluto. So is this where the border is then? Well not really, see the end of the solar system should be an area where the influence of the Sun ends, but this can be its light, which although gets fainter with distance doesn't just abruptly end, or its gravity effect that in a similar manner gets weaker but it doesn't just suddenly stop. The best metric will probably be the helium sphere or the area which is affected by the solar winds and its magnetic field which extends far beyond the Kuiper belt but even this is not a firm line but rather a very large area. This whole region is known as the heliosheet and its thickness is between 40 and 160 astronomical units or the distance from earth to the sun and it begins in the termination shock where the solar winds slow down till the heliopause where it interacts with the interstellar region. As of now Voyager 1 and 2 probes are the only man-made satellites that have gone beyond this point. 